What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to remove the wires from a Molex connector. If you want to remove these pins, what you got to see here is that if you look really closely, there are two little alligator like clips on each one of these pins right there on the top. I'll link a high resolution picture so you can see that they stick out and that's what you know keeps them in place so you can't just yank these out. So if you want to remove them from the connector itself, what I have been doing is taking something small and you know a little pliable like this paper clip that I've chopped up and if you look down the hole you can see that the two little clippies are what's keeping each of them in and then you take your pen and just press those in and it should work its way out. My intention is to not put them back into the Molex connector but if you wanted to do that what you would have to do is just bend the alligator clips back in the opposite direction and you do that just by putting your pin down the mole down the hole of the the wire tip pressing it out I got some of these out with just one, putting one in. This one wants to be stubborn. There we go. So, it did eventually come out. It's still okay. I don't know if you could salvage this this clip if you wanted to put it back in. But again, I'm not trying to, but if you're modding your power supply or trying to sleeve the cables individually or in pairs, you're going to want to be a lot more careful than I'm being. Um, with practice, I'm sure this will come a lot easier. And if you're not doing it with a camera in your face, it's even easier still. Try and get this last one out. There are tools that you can buy. And I'll link to them in the description. But I just need this one plug today. yourself with the paper clip either. There you go. So like I said, just take a paper clip, uh, press in the two little tabs that keep it locked in. If you want to put it back together, make sure you mark it's keyed and so you can't put this in the wrong way. So make sure you get your 12 and 5 volt rails back in the right slots or it's it's not gonna it's gonna cause you some trouble. So yeah, thanks for watching.